fast food French fries. I'm here with the same gang featuring Jake that was here when we put together our cereal tier list. So think of this as a bit of a sequel. There's going to be some hot takes and there's going to be some cold takes. I can already feel it. I already have my top five written down. You've had your top five written down for 10 years, Garrett. We've got the Arby's curly fries. S tier. Honestly. I'm kind of a Jeff here, low S. Chope, what's your take on Arby's curly fries? I'd say they're in Jesus Walks, Blair's S tier. All right, well, Arby's is in S tier for now. We've got Burger King fries. I'm going to go with an Anthony Fantano. Not good right there. Not good is exactly it. All right, fine. Yeah, there's just no justifying Burger King fries as anything more than not good. They're they're so bland. They've fallen from grace. They used to be so much better, so much saltier. But now it's just like eating a carb stick, and I do not feel fulfilled. I've never had Burger King fries. Um, so we're moving on to Raising Cane's. Um, good. I'm thinking meh. I'd say good. Fun. They're greasy. They're like literally like just meant to like shove in your mouth and go ah like er, they just fulfill the rest of the meal, you know. Um, no. Kane's French fries are there purely just to finish off the rest of the sauce you did. So remember how I said there's two in S tier before? Do you all remember that? This is garbage. Kane's fries are nothing more than a vessel for sauce. I 100% agree. Thank you. I disagree. I think they're meh or good. You can have my cane sauce. I don't like it. I give it to Connor. I'm going to go meh on that as well. Meh is fine. It's not like you go to Kane's to get their fries. Exactly. You're there for the chicken and the post. Checkers, rallies, the famous fries. This, to me, is nothing below S tier. S tier. Never had it. They are great. I do not think they are S tier. What's your problem with them? They are a hundred times better than Arby's fries in every single way. Yeah, well, ooh, ooh, I don't know about that one, Garrett. If if we, I I think there is a better fry still on this list, in my opinion. Yeah, we all know that Checkers Rallies is the number two, like out of the two, Jesus Walks S tier. It's Arby's and Checkers Rallies. There's no debate for that. It's those two. All right, up next, we've got the closed on Sunday Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Fuck Chick-fil-A. They're, they're good, maybe I'm meh. I'm just saying that for waffle fries, you really don't expect waffle fries to be as good as Chick-fil-A. I'm willing to put this in medium level of good. I think they deserve to be in great. Just the saltiness that comes with them. They're too salty. No, listen, Jeff, you're wrong. Can't be too salty. All right, because they're French fries. All right. Okay, so basically, what I'm hearing from you guys is the fries don't matter. It's all about sauce for these things. They are nothing higher than good. I would say that they're meh, in my opinion. They are they are higher than Canes, but that is all I'm giving them. Chick Fil A needs to be in good, otherwise I'll leave the Discord call right now. Usually, I get them and they're always cold. You know, once they're they're warm, they're really good. That Chick Fil A customer service going down. But if they're cold, they're just they're just meh. My pleasure. Uh, up next, we got Culver's fries. They're okay. You never get the fries. You always get the curds because the curds are significantly better. The fries are just meh. They really are meh. I hate that word, curds. Clearly, Jeff, you've not had enough of these fries because these are also garbage here. They're so bad. I love Culver's, but their fries suck. I'm okay with the not good on these. I would much rather eat Kane's fries than Culver's fries. There, I feel like Culver's fries are less disappointing than Kane's fries, though. What do you think of the Dairy Queen, uh, the Dairy Queen fries? I haven't had Dairy Queen in in months. Is that what we asked you? They're they're just good. I wouldn't say they're outstanding, but they do it. They do their job. These are one of my two sleeper hits. These are some great fries. Sleeper hits? Okay. Aiden, what's, or, uh, Aiden or Jake, what's your guys' take here on the Dairy Queen fry? It's been a hot minute. I have never had a problem with them. Are they bad? No. They are just good fries, and that's it. They belong, like, right below Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Before, before we move on, can we just move Burger King to garbage? Yes. It deserves it. I'm okay with this. Everything in my Burger King sucks. But you see, this perturbs me even more now with Culver's being an entire tier below Raising Cane's. I think we need to move Cane's down to not good, too. Yes. I think Culver's fries are better than Cane's fries. I figured out what I don't like about Cane's fries. What? No, they are not potatoey enough. They don't have enough flavor. Yep, 100%. It's like they're phoning it in. We got the Del Taco fries. Is Del Taco like a Mexican place or... It is a Mexican place, yeah. They were so, like, okay. They just did the job. Sounds like a meh to me. You can order them with a burrito, and you're not going to be like, 
kind of gagging a little bit. They're not going to like make your burger experience any better. Sounds like a solid meh tier to me. All right. Up next, we've got Five Guys Burgers and Fries Fries. Might I start with the worst packaging for anything? Well, what about flavor? Jim? I mean, I delivered two bags of these tonight and they greased up my car seat. So I'm a little peeved. <laughs> Jeff out here talking like salt is bad on fries. It, too much salt is a problem. Five Guys Fries. The analogy I think of is this one time, ironically enough, out front of a Burger King, I saw this couple shooting up in a car in the parking lot. And while it looked exactly like what these Five Guys Fries look like, the taste is actually just as bad. It's not very good. There's like mats here. They're not that low. They are meh to me. Um, are good or great? Better than Burger King, but not great. I think the presentation just ruins these fries for me because anytime I go there, I usually skip on the fries because they don't come with the burger. They don't do like a meal thing. Yeah. Like they taste like the fries that I could make at home by cutting up some potatoes, putting them in oil and dumping a shit ton of salt on them myself. There's nothing fancy about them and they're not even produced or consistent. You're better off just having the peanuts over the fries, honestly. I think they're above Del Taco. Hardy slash Carl Jr.'s regular fries and Hardy slash Carl's Jr. curly fries. It's been a long time, like probably freshman year of college, and I really do not remember. That wasn't that long ago. Wait, you called that a long time? Like three years ago, yeah, in fry terms, that's a long time. It's not true. With Hardy's regular cut fries, I feel like they are what I remember really liking about Wendy's old fries. Uh, I'd say they're garbage. Uh, I would say they're definitely stronger than something like Del Taco and probably Five Guys, but I don't... Even as someone who doesn't really care much for the Dairy Queen fries, they're not that good. As They're very similar to McDonald's fries, but I think they're not as good as McDonald's fries. I'm thinking right at the bottom of good for now. Good sounds accurate based on these descriptions from everyone. Writing off what Nate was saying, that was, that was the only thing that I had to say about this because as a person who's never tried anything from Hardee's or Carl's Jr., whatever it is, 10 times out of 10, the curly fries are going to be better than the regular fries. That's just a fact. You cannot dispute that. Nate says it needs to be long in the S tier. I don't know if I can speak on that with such little experience, but I would be fine going with the great tier. We're now moving on to the ones that Jeff demanded be in the list, the in and out fries. These are the worst fries I've ever had. Only reason I wanted these fries in the list is because I wanted to say God doesn't normally make mistakes, but he made one with these. I've gotten them three times just to see, like, maybe I was wrong the first time and the second time. Each time I've literally poured them out for the birds because quite literally they were so horrible. <laughs> you fool me, we can't get fooled again. <laughs> Wait, 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 why did you get them multiple times just to give them to the birds? Jeff, for the birds, butcher. And we're just, if we're just talking about fries in general, this, the fry itself, then I think garbage for me. Yeah, so we're going to move on to the KFC fries. Has anyone had these? Oh, the wedges are much better. Their fries are just kind of eh. Not good, but not like bad. I'd give them a meh. That's pretty much all that I think that can be said about those with the rest of us just not even having tried them. If we're looking at a top seed here. This is like as popular as the Arby's. We're looking at McDonald's fries. I mean, it's McDonald's. This is the flagship French fry. Now, it's no Arby's. It's no Checkers. But I think that it'd be kind of a crime, a disservice to the fast food French fry industry to put it below great. They're typically pretty great. They've always been good. They're iconic, right? I mean, you know what they are when you eat them. Yeah, I mean, quite frankly, they're the quintessential fry. I would agree that they're great. Even I, most times I get them, they oversalt it, and I still think they're fantastic. So, because McDonald's is so big, you can have a large variation in consistency and quality. Like when I'm really craving fries, I probably want McDonald's fries. When you think of fries, the first thing that pops into my head is McDonald's logos. Fry, I would say these are bottom great. I think they're top. I think they're above. Yeah. They need to be above the fucking Hardy's Curly if I'm the only person who's had them, besides Garrett, and he hated it, and it got it to great. They used to sell McDonald's fries at Disney. One that you requested to be on here, Jake, the Penn Station fries. I don't even know what that is. And say Penn Station fries are an S-tier French fry. Yeah, we're not on the same say I was going to put them in the good tier. Do you like them more or less than the Dairy Queen fries that you also said were a sleeper hit? I like it more than Dairy Queen fries, for sure. I think that's perfect right there. I'd say they're about on par with Chick-fil-A. To you, Cup, I know you love that chicken from Popeye's. How do you feel about their Cajun fries? 
Popeyes. No, I've never had Popeyes. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. They are genuinely an S tier fry. They are incredible. They consistent. I have never had a bad Popeyes fry. You know what? I hate I hate this, but I agree with Jeff. Yeah, I would say that they are very similar to Checkers and Rallies, and I believe they should be next to them. S tier. I didn't think these would be an S tier, but I I respect the take. They look good. I'll say that they do look good. All right, so we've got Shake Shack. Their fries are a thing. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? I've never had Shake Shack, so I can't talk on this. I think these would be in meh, honestly. I don't think they deserve good. I would put them in great if this were my list. I would be okay with good. I do not think they're meh. They look pathetic. I didn't order them. I stole from someone else. Yeah, you stole from me. I gave them to you. They were just fine. I didn't actually really like it there that much. You were hyping it up so much, and I, I wasn't feeling it. It was just kind of meh. See, I, kn- I knew in the back of my head that Jeff would somehow like just hype these up for someone. I knew it. All right, up next, we've got the tax evasion fries themselves, the smash fries from Smash Burger. I actually had these today, so I'll go first. Go for it. Olive oil and the and the rosemary that they put on these fries are gangster. They deliver. They really do deliver. There's something about that. Oh. That is gangster. Here's the only thing I don't like. I'm actually going to present a new subcategory into this discussion perfectly good i would even put them higher level good they make me hurt after i eat them the pain threshold of these fries brings it down to a meh level to me smash burger is just yeah it's good but it also hurts yeah we'll put it in induced pain i like that new tier we're moving on to sonic fries default is Tater Tots literally tells you how trash these fries are. They are not good. I just like how small this PNG is because they look so adorable. Based off the rest of that menu, those need to be in garbage. Well, Sonic's whole menu is kind of shit. Oh, they actually have pretty good wings. All right, so we've got Steak and Shake fries here. They're pretty dang great. Cleaning up the grease and cheese residue with some nice Steak and Shake fries. I will definitely finish my steak and shake fries i had these last night actually because i swear to god i'm on a diet but these belong in the not good category no um i'm with garrett i don't really like steak and shake fries they're shoestring fries and unnecessary every time that i get them they're always really cold they are never good they're good they're just always cold i've never eaten just a single steak and shake fry and been like this is a good bite no it just does not work like that no, these fries are made to go as part of the burger and clean up. That's why they're shoestring. You just grab a handful of them and you just mop it up and eat it. And it's so good. The seasoning is there because they know their fries are ass. Listen, I said that I'd be okay with good. I'd say good. We're moving on to Swenson's, another drive-in. It's very similar to Sonic in terms of style. Uh, Aiden, what were you going to say? I have not had any good experiences here. So I just had my first good experience there. Another you know reason why? I didn't get the fries. I need to defend my boy Swenson here. Is you need to get a galley boy. You need to order that. And then you need to get the potato teasers. When you get fries at Swenson's, that's just because you're too poor to get the like loaded potato thing. The fries are settling for less when you really don't want to. They're not garbage, but they're not good. They're better than Sonic's, I can tell you that much. Okay, so we're moving on to the Taco Bell Nacho Fries. These are the best, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, these are the best tasting on this list. I've never had them. It's genuinely such an interesting flavor that is so refreshing to see being different. It's really tasty. I really enjoy them. But I think they're a great. I don't think they're S. I don't think... Um... Pro tip, slide them in your burrito. Incredible. Sometimes I feel you don't know food at all. Dude, I've never seen a pair of fries get carried harder by being paired with nacho cheese. No, I never eat them with the cheese. The cheese is bad. I just throw Taco Bell fries into induced pain. All right. I have the perfect spot right above DQ and good. Okay, I'll settle. I, th- I really think those should be higher, though. I mean, I think they should be in great. All right, another overrated fry. We're moving on to Wendy's. Back in the day, um, the four nations lived together in harmony. McDonald's, Burger King. Yeah, I couldn't think of a fourth one. So anyway, uh, Wendy's, Wendy's fries were the Fire Nation. They sucked. 
Wendy's fries were so bad with the sea salt, which competed with McDonald's. The sea salt Wendy's fries were maybe even better than McDonald's. The avatar disappeared. We don't know what happened. The sea salt fries just started getting like soggy and less tasty and less appetizing. And now they are a meh or not good tier to me. I agree. They try to cover up a soggy fry with a lot of sea salt and it really just does not compare. These are a meh fry for me now. Wendy's decided, hey, let's just be savages on social media and stop like caring about our food quality. And yeah, they have really, really nosedived. These can't make great. These might be good. I'm going to say top of meh. Exactly. At top of meh. And the final fry, the Whataburger fry. Another one courtesy of you Jeff. You know, I wanted to hit the regional fast food chains up, and Whataburger is good. I w- First, I want to say, has anybody else had it? No. Nope. Yes. I literally had a fucking connection in Dallas because I wanted to try Whataburger, and I was in the wrong goddamn terminal. You got a connecting flight into Dallas just to try Whataburger? I mean, that, that was actually... A- literally part of the reason they're very similar to penn station in my opinion yeah i'd I'd put them just below dairy queen in all honesty they're good i would not drive 10 hours for the meme just to go get these fries you wouldn't get a layover in dallas to get these fries all right so is there anything on this tier list the way it sits that makes anyone uncomfortable in any capacity harrison was upset about five guys he thought they should be better and honestly i think they should be in front of wendy's for sure. These Del Taco fries are looking a little sus, too. I think they just need to be down here with the Sonic one. I don't feel like Culver's need to be as low, but I don't think they should be meh, either. Then then, then it's uh, then it's Penn Station that goes up in the grate. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching our French fry tier list. The lowest French fry is the In-N-Out Burger. The highest, the best French fry in fast food is apparently Arby's Curly Fry. There's quite a wide spectrum of fries here. Let us know what your favorite fry is in the comments below. And thank you, everyone, who interacted with my uh, Instagram story today. Motherfuckers better know.